Greetings and salutations, fellow Voidsman, and welcome to what is essentially my part 2 video regarding the ranks of the Imperial Navy. Previously, we talked a bit about the Navy brass, namely admirals and high-ranking officers, and today we will get into the nitty-gritty of the lower decks, so to speak. That means warrant officers, NCOs, ratings, and several of the specialist ranks encountered on an Imperial warship. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about Imperial Navy ranks, shall we? The warrant officers, also known in some quarters by the term of petty officers, act as the equivalent of non-commissioned officers like sergeants and corporals in planet-bound Imperial Guard regiments. They disseminate orders from higher authority, ensure that those orders are carried out by the rank and file of enlisted ratings, and maintain discipline with regular floggings. They are called warrant officers because their rank is created through the issue of a written warrant from either fleet administration or the captain of the warship. Warrant officers occupy positions of trust on a void ship, and the captain with even the most mutinous of crews can keep the ship running as long as he can rely on his warrant officers. It is common practice in the Imperial Navy to promote warrant officers from among the ratings already on board a warship, but large numbers of warrants are also issued to civilized worlds as part of their Imperial tithe of experienced personnel for the Emperor's military. The Ship's Master The Ship's Master is generally the senior most warrant officer and most experienced voidman on board a given starship. Often the Master is tasked with critical responsibilities, such as stellar navigation and the keeping of the starship's log. In addition, he or she might oversee the keeping of the ship's hangar decks and stores and supplies. The Gun Captain a gun captain is a highly respected non-commissioned officer who has the great responsibility of commanding a single gun crew on an Imperial warship. The gun captain is the foremost expert on performing all the duties of the subordinate ratings in his or her command, and often achieves the post only after decades of working his or her way through all the different enlisted ratings. Next, I'll tell you a bit about the non-commissioned officers themselves. And once again we start at the top, with the Master Chief Petty Officer, then the Senior Chief Petty Officer, and then the Chief Petty Officer. Then we have the Sergeant at Arms, or Senior Armsman. A Sergeant at Arms is placed in charge of a squad of armsmen anywhere between 6 and 20 strong, with responsibility for close combat and naval combat, such as hit-and-run tactics and boarding action. A Sergeant at Arms' greatest responsibility is the keys entrusted to him for the weapons lockers found on every deck of a warship. When battle commences, the Master at Arms signals the Sergeants to clear the decks and prepare for action, indicating at what time whether to arm the crew. Sergeants at Arms are often recruited via warrant on planets from among the Imperial Guardsmen to ensure that they do not have prior associations with the current crew of their warship. The Boson or Boatswain A starship's bosuns are disciplinarians and taskmasters of a crew, assigned to oversee the common enlisted ratings and indentured workers, determine their duties and ensure that they are carried out efficiently. Voidfarers are often trained from birth in the tasks they will be expected to perform aboard ship, and this training does not end when the position is secured. To keep skills sharp, all crew are expected to participate in regular drills and practice sessions. A steady regimen of drills makes an efficient crew. This often means that bosuns are responsible for enforcing discipline on recalcitrant crew members and are likely to handle the task personally. This makes them unpopular figures, and aboard many warships, they find themselves naturally aligned with the ship's sergeant-at-arms, as their duties are similar. The Crew Boss 
A crew boss is a veteran rating who has been given authority over a small group of his fellow voidsmen in a given functional specialty or task. The Ratings Ratings are the basic enlisted voidsmen aboard an Imperial warship, who take care of the menial tasks, hauling shells and missiles, rerouting cables, clearing debris, and conducting basic maintenance. Men and women in this class typically have a myriad of subclassifications that specify their role further, like Gunlayer 2nd Class, Fuse Changer 1st Class, and so on. Ratings make up the great bulk of a starship's crew, and will be the ones doing most of the fighting during a boarding action. Contrary to popular belief, many Imperial ratings are volunteers, because the pay is relatively good, and the conditions are better than those on many Imperial worlds. If there aren't enough volunteers to fulfill a captain's requirements, he or she always has the right to send press gangs to tithe more crew directly from the planet along the ship's course, which may include penal colonies or hab blocks. In practice, this is often achieved through collusion with the local planetary governor, but an Imperial Navy captain does not need civilian permission to take crew from any world. The Armsman Armsmen are crew members tasked with carrying weapons at all times on board the starship and maintaining the contents of the weapon lockers. They keep discipline among the lower ranks and protect the crew when needed. Unlike most ratings, armsmen get to move around different decks of a warship in the course of their duties, and their loyalties are carefully scrutinized. Armsmen are essentially the Imperial Navy's equivalent of Marines, the trusted crewman, voidsman, or shipman. Voidsmen are a warship's enlisted crewman who possess some training and skill, and are the ratings most likely to be entrusted with tasks such as conduit maintenance, bulwark repairs, cog polishing, and other menial tasks that require some skill and autonomy. Hive worlders are favored as voidsmen due to their familiarity with advanced technology and the fact that they are mostly immune to the worst of the noise and cramped conditions found aboard an Imperial warship. And the bottom of the food chain, so to speak, the indentured workers. Indentured or slave workers are those unfortunate souls who rank even below enlisted personnel on an Imperial warship and are press-ganged from the slums of a world or taken en masse from penal colonies, for their ability to perform unskilled hard labor. They are given duties such as hauling guns into position, turning flywheels, and carrying supplies, heavy equipment, and macro cannon shells. Most warships must replenish their crews of indentured workers every so often, as a large number die from malnutrition, accidents, and disciplinary action. And finally, like I promised, I will give an overview of some of the specialist ranks from the Imperial Navy. The Tech Priest Majoris, or Engine Seer Prime. The Tech Priest Majoris is the Adeptus Mechanicus representative on a warship's bridge crew and is responsible for communicating the needs of the Mechanicus to the captain and his officers. In the eyes of the cult Mechanicus, an Imperial void ship is a living shrine, rife with tech adepts and servitors, its machine sections constantly rebuilt, repaired, and encrusted with shrines and prayer works. Constant labor is necessary to sustain the vessel's great machine spirit and so please the Omnissiah. The Engine Seer Prime directs this holy toil, and his solemn pledge to the Lord Captain holds him responsible for maintenance of the Void Ship's strength, resilience, and tech secrets. The Principal Navigator or Warp Guide The Principal Navigator is the senior-most navigator on an Imperial warship who has the undesirable responsibility of charting a passage through the warp and bringing the starship through unharmed. The Chief Astropath A Chief Astropath is the senior astropath aboard a warship and has direct dealings with the captain. 
He or she is responsible for ensuring that the warship's astropathic choirs are able to maintain adequate long-range communications. The High Factotum The High Factotum is a master of the mechanisms of trade. Negotiations, compacts, endless records, bribes, threats, and the filling and emptying of great holds. Maintaining the crew at strength and obtaining needed supplies for the continuous operation of the void ship is also the high factotum's concern. The Master Gunner This guy is a high-ranking warrant officer given responsibility for the maintenance and performance of the warship's macro batteries and lances. He or she is also responsible for ammunition storage and power linkages. The Master Helmsman The Master Helmsman is responsible for safely piloting the vessel through the myriad threats of the void of space. A Helmsman, risen to be master of his profession, must have a sixth sense for the dangers that can confound aspects and lead void ships to ruin, and know how best to make use of his helm crew and their familiarity with a vessel's character. The Master of Ordnance This guy pledges to keep the void ship's weapons and fighting crew in the finest condition, and then directs them to destroy foes at the Lord Captain's order. A Master of Ordnance is responsible for managing torpedoes and assault craft, such as huge star bombers, lumbering assault boats, and agile fighters carried within the warship's vast launch bays. He is responsible for the quality of gun deck crews, the workings of the armored munition vaults deep within the vessel, and the operation of weapons in void battle. The Master of Ordnance coordinates the efforts of the deck crews to ensure everything is fueled, armed and ready to launch at a moment's notice. If the vessel boasts torpedoes, fighter squadrons, or other more esoteric ordnance, then these crews and systems also fall under the Master's purview. The Master of Arms An Imperial void ship can muster a small army, security companies, boarding parties, the common crew armed with rusty blades and stub guns, and often entire barrack regiments of mercenaries or Imperial Guard. The Master of Arms, also called the Master at Arms, is charged with ensuring that all weaponry on board a starship is serviceable and ready for action, from the greatest macro cannon to the meanest stub pistol. The Master at Arms is also responsible for those militaries and their commanders. It is his pledged duty to the Lord Captain to ensure the loyalty of the Void Ship's forces, carefully guard the vessel's security, maintain the armories, ensure victory against borders, and guide attacks upon the crew of enemy vessels or foes on a hostile world. The Ship's Surgeon Also called the Chief Chirurgeon, or unofficially Sawbones, he is the master of the Void Ship's Medicae wards and their staff. Doctors of Physics, Medicae, Alchemists, and a horde of apprentices. Accidents, maladies, and aches of a thousand varieties afflict common voidfarers, and a crew unattended by Medicae and Physics will soon enough lapse into illness, putting the safety of the vessel at risk. The Officer of the Watch The Officer of the Watch draws up duty rosters, assigns watches, and attends the warship's chronometer. On most Imperial starships, the title of Officer of the Watch is rotated through the ranking commissioned officers. On older vessels, it tends to become a permanent position assigned to the officer who served longest aboard the vessel. The Fleet Commissar Like their Imperial Guard counterparts, Commissars are appointed to the fleets of the Imperial Navy. Working closely with the ship's Master of Arms, the Fleet Commissar ensures that the warship is kept battle-ready at all times, and that the crew remains focused on their duty to the Emperor. A Fleet Commissar has the authority to declare a captain or even an entire crew unfit for service, if he or she is sufficiently concerned about their actions or the state of the ship. At least one fleet commissar will normally be aboard any capital ship. The Ship's Confessor 
A ship's confessor is a vessel's ecclesiarchy representative who works tirelessly to promote the imperial creed among the crew and weed out potential heretics. The God Emperor protects the righteous who abide by the holy laws of Ministorum and Imperium, and it is his will that keeps the warp at bay and guides weapons to strike true against the enemy. The ship's confessor pledges to uphold the faith and courage of the crew against all adversities, and so make the void ship a true cathedral of the Imperial Creed, echoing with the prayers of the holy and blessed in the God Emperor's sight. The Master of the Vox In the course of daily operations, an endless stream of Vox traffic passes through a void ship's command deck. These lines of communication are vital to the operation of an Imperial Navy warship, and it is the responsibility of the Master of the Vox to keep all channels of communication clear, and all Vox casters functioning at peak efficiency. The Carto Artifacts The Void and the Warp contain dangers that often means the death of those who venture forth unprepared. The best way to survive such dangers is to avoid them entirely. To this end, a wise Lord Captain consults his Carto Artifacts before any voyage. This master of charts and hololithic maps is charged with finding safe routes and circumventing danger. The secrets of the Void and the Warp are laid bare before his vast knowledge of the tides and currents of the Immaterium. The Ship Steward The vast stocks of food, water, and air upon which an Imperial Void Ship's crew depend must be carefully monitored and rationed, lest wanton consumption and theft lead to a crippling shortage. Someone must take care of these resources to see that they are used properly. To do less invites starvation, dehydration, and suffocation on a catastrophic scale. And these, my friends, have been most of the lower ranks and specialists from the Imperial Navy. Would you pursue a career aboard an Imperial warship? Which rank do you find most interesting? Apart from captain, of course. Let me know in the comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button and maybe subscribe for more videos in the future. And if you're a regular follower of my content, also consider checking my Patreon page. The link is in the video description, where even a couple of dollars a month can help me out. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. The Emperor Protects.